Hello everyone, we're back to talk about the final film in the, in the Saw trilogy, in the, in the original Saw trilogy that came out. You know what I mean? How many more trilogies are there? We don't know. <laughs> Dozens maybe, I don't know. Are these part of a Twisted Pictures cinematic universe? Oh my God. We've, not, we've never even talked about how this is produced by Twisted Pictures and there's a nail, and there's a barbed wire. Oh my God. It winds right up. There's always like a like a new metal song in the, in the closing <laughs> credits. We keep, we keep, we don't mention these. I love all of it. I didn't mention Shawnee Smith's poodle mullet haircuts <laughs> in the last movie. The Joe Jet look is not for you girl is wow all I'm, saying. Is all I'm saying uh what i like about these also is i'm discovering new things about the characters in the world as mm-hmm. the as the movies progress which i guess is how movies work in a lot of ways because <laughs> i know a lot of people will get comments like oh, actually you mentioned how jigsaw he did slow his heart like he, when he was on the floor he did slow his heart he used he used a, he used a, a special drug yeah we know now yeah we know now. yeah <laughs> we've seen this movie too now now we know everything about this saw trilogy That's right. yeah, yeah yeah but anyway ruder than ever uh, somebody drops the C-bomb. Oh, my God. My favourite thing about that is I was like, oh, that's cute. <laughs> Americans Americans saying it like it has any meaning at all anymore. <laughs> that's a Dorbs. Well, you know, in 2006, maybe maybe it did more so, you yeah, know? Yeah, uh, uh-huh. Leave a like if you could. But I want to talk about... Leave a like if you love the C-bomb. <laughs> dropping it in a casual fan, conversation. Yeah. So this one, again, sees Lee Winnell return as long as James Wan to write. Ah. They didn't work on the ones after this. And, of course, Lee Winnell also makes an appearance as the character he played in the first movie. Yeah. John or Josh or Job or Jeff. Adam? Adam. And Adam. Adam, yes. Unless the other guy was Adam. No, the other, the, okay. I think they're both Adam. Oh, my God. People will let us and know he was like, not. it was like there's been too much confusion in the <laughs> Saw universe and all the fan forums, so we, we need to definitively fix this by putting a plastic bag over my head <laughs> and then bashing me on the side of a bath or whatever. Makes sense to me. Now, a lot of people also demanded that, look, we haven't done any Saw trivia leading up, so I'm going to do a little bit at the end. I've, okay, I've done great. a bit of rummaging around. Uh-huh. There was a Saw convention in 2006 that I want to talk about as well. Bit of a disaster, if you don't mind me saying so. <laughs> Why's that? Well, we'll get to it. Deadly traps? Well, in a way. Yeah. Oh, my God. Also, what's interesting I learned is that sort of prior to the premieres of all the Saw movies, mm. the Saw fans get together and they, they do a blood drive. Did you know that? I didn't know that. Yeah, it's very very nice of them. Is it rusty n- nails? and? <laughs> yeah, it's unusable, the blood. It's no, it's no good. You don't want it. Okay, cool. Good so what, stuff. So what do you think of this third one? It's better than two. I uh-huh. think it does a good job of kind of fleshing out some scenarios, if you don't mind. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But it is also a mile a minute in terms of scenarios, especially like the first 15 minutes, just like, bang, look at all, the, all these scenarios unfolding. Yeah, look right, at, right, look right, at them right, all right. happen. But I still don't think it has the strength of the first movie. What about you? No, I think you're absolutely right. And I think, and this is part of the arc of this movie, is that Amanda, who is Jigsaw's protege, yes. she's making the traps now. She's making the traps now. But, but they're, they're not... The, the police know that it's not the original Jigsaw because Jigsaw's traps, uh, apparently, <laughs> you can escape them. And these, and these new ones are inescapable. Are they? Uh, yeah. Here's the, the major issue. I've written, I, I've written notes for this episode. And I, here's, here's wow. The arc that I've gone in this, in this series is yeah. one, you know, Jigsaw, very spooky character, you know, very quick-witted, you know, criminal genius. He wants to teach people a lesson and all this sort of stuff. Does he? But... What I've realised is that I've gone from, like, being scared of Jigsaw and being angry at Jigsaw to just being annoyed at him. Like, I'm annoyed. (laughs) Because he's weird and pedantic and his rules don't make sense. James, he is. Mm. I've I've come to the realisation he is the ultimate boomer. (laughs) And I know, J- I know, J- I know, folks out there, I know hashtag not all boomers. Sure. But the thing about him is he does the ultimate boomer move, mm. which is say something that's objectively wrong and then leave before you can uh, correct him on it. Yeah, absolutely. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Which, which is, it's ultimately, it's, it's all of these traps. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> okay, so a big part of this movie is that uh, Jeff or as I'm going to refer to him as Robert the Bruce from Braveheart. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, he's, he doesn't appreciate, he hasn't moved on from his son being killed, yes. right? And so he needs to get all these people out of these traps or let them die who were involved in the release of his son's killer or Jigsaw will kill the rest of his family. What? Yeah. What? <laughs> He's being tested and, and his family are being threatened because he was thinking about past traumas. Yeah. What, what is this, the thought police? <laughs> but I mean, but all of these are like, it's kind of the, the revelation at the end of this mm. movie is that he doesn't want Amanda to carry on his work because she's a murderer and he yeah. doesn't approve of murderers. And it's like, but but you're a murderer. And he's like, no, 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 no. This, it's, it's, I create it's, scenarios. I create scenarios. <laughs> and it's like, yeah, yeah, but, but I mean, in order to escape these scenarios, you have to, we have to literally be inside your mind 
yeah. you understand the, the machinations, the machinations and the twists and logic. So no, you're you're still a murderer. No, no, no. What I do is different. No, it's not different. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> Classic boomer move. Classic boomer saying. move. And what's crazy is he's like, hey, your son, uh, you're sad about your son, and you you drink too much. So uh, you're gonna get a lot of traps coming your way, right? They're, they're coming hot and fast. One cold and fast. Mm. But with Amanda, he's like, you're murdering people. I'm going to give you a few chances. I'm going to see if you stop murdering people. No, that's actually the perfect time for a scenario. Like a proper old school scenario. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I know exactly but what you But it's mean, like, yeah. how many chances you want to give this bird? She's fucking lost it, mate. Shut it down. <laughs> Shut it down. Yeah. Yeah. Did you expect the uh, the return of Donald Wahlberg? I mean, I did because you mentioned it last week. Okay, sure, back. yeah. So I guess in a way I did. Apparently, though, he, he, didn't, he didn't learn enough, which is why he ended up in the trap. But at the same time, I was really impressed how he broke his foot to escape. He could have sped run Saw 1. You know what I mean? Yeah, for sure. That yeah, dude's yeah. got the cheat code. Yeah, He's just fucking God. out of there, That's mate. That's true. Now that I think about it, yeah, absolutely. Because the first one's 90 minutes of people being like, how do I get... I can't cut my foot off. What do I do with this guy? Just, just bash your foot. Just bash your foot into a soup and just slide it right out. <laughs> then try to walk on it later. Yeah. It's yeah. Like motivation is important. That's insane. So some of the uh, the the, the saw situations. Mm -hmm. What are we going with again? Yeah, saw situations. Saw situations is they're, they're pretty inventive. One is uh, a a guy, a judge who uh, let his killer off drowning in pig guts. There's a woman who's being frozen, and he's supposed to save them or not save them. It doesn't well, seem to thing. matter. <laughs> so so his test in this is as opposed to him being caught in a trap. Do we forgive? Yeah. Do we forgive? Does he let the other people out of the trap? And he and he decides that he's going to do that at the at the second yeah. one. So like if he'd gotten all three out, wouldn't that be a four-man task force to beat up Jigsaw afterwards? <laughs> like it would, it would, it would undo I, all his good work. I guess, but that guy also, by the time he they just, just beat, they just they just beat him up. down and beat her up. <laughs> what, what's also uh, kind of frustrating is by the time he kind of figures out, they're like, yeah, I'm gonna let these people go. He's just not quick enough. Like yeah. he's contemplating for too long, and by the time he learns a lesson to not hold hate in his heart. They're already dead. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Like, these traps are so precise that if he has to reach through to grab a key and there's frozen bars, it's like the length of his arm. Mm. So he can just get it. Yeah. But it doesn't give him enough time to think about it. Maybe kind of piece some things together in his mind, come to some kind of conclusion about forgiveness and moving on. But it's like, nut nah, clock sticking. This guy's head's about to twist yeah. right off. You better fucking move, mate. I don't, I don't know if you know this, Jigsaw, but you're providing a little too much pressure for clear <laughs> thinking in these situations. <laughs> okay, uh, Boomer. Got him. Got him. And scenarios like, hey, you know your dead son who you can't get over? Burn all his toys. Why? That's right? mean. Why are you be why are you so mean? So Just mean. let him keep them. Yeah, yeah. Does it matter to you whether he keeps them? What's wrong with you? Right? This guy's the worst. Why are you the way that you are? And the other thing is, you know the judge that he does rescue from pig guts? Yes. Which is <laughs> that's a whole horrific scenario, that one in itself. But the judge is like for the last guy who's twisting, he's like, do something! Do you gotta do something! You do something. You're a two-man team, mate. Right? It's just the ultimate buddy cops uh, <laughs> uh, 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 duo. Terrific. <laughs> what I also liked is that throughout the course of his traps, he gathers the pieces to kill Amanda, the person you know responsible for shooting his wife. Yeah. Because Jigsaw knew that right at the end, Amanda would shoot his wife, and then and he would shoot Amanda. Yeah. What if they both missed? <laughs> just standing because he's got one bullet. He's got one bullet. He misses, yeah. and he's like, "Well, this is awkward, isn't it?" Yeah. I guess. Uh... You can hit me with a brick or something. <laughs> sure, yeah. <laughs> if you want. Uh, to be fair, I think there's some, there is some good stuff in this movie. Because it is entertaining. Like, yeah, it's nonsense, sure. but it's entertaining. So, there is a brain surgery sequence that we see almost in entirety. I've written here the actual surgery is the most gross thing in this movie. Yeah. Well, apparently, the reason it was able to even be in this film is because it's medically accurate. Ah, so otherwise can, it'd be too gross. I guess, Interesting. Yeah. Because I You can Google something yeah. like this on YouTube. Because I feel like it's fairly unlikely I'd be caught in a... Ben, don't just, put that in. Yeah. <laughs> I, I feel it's fairly unlikely I'd be caught in a Saw-style death trap, but it is very likely that watching all of these movies would, would cause me to have some sort of brain problem that requires my skull to be removed. <laughs> so... <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Know. Did you enjoy the revelation that Amanda did put the key in the thing in the bath and the whatever and the setting up the little Saw room from Saw I guess one? so, but it didn't really explain what she was supposed to do with that key. Mm-hmm. Because you either give it to him and he gets out or you put it in the bath so it goes down the sink so he doesn't get out. 
Yeah. Was she supposed to do a third thing? Was she supposed to be like, oh god, I was supposed to put it behind his eye. <laughs> I was supposed to. Oh, I forgot. Oh no, that'll be. I'll be. Oh, that's like that's like an extra couple of hours. Oh, he's looking at me. Oh, he's with, already lying on the floor. Oh, jigsaw, oh. oh geez. Oh, he's gonna he's gonna wonder why I haven't closed the door and said game over yet. Oh, uh, okay. I'll just chuck it on. Yeah, I think so. I think maybe she was given more explicit instructions. She failed to follow through. Yeah, you might be right. I also think like this movie also made me question. Where, where's Jigsaw getting his money? Because I know everything looks like shit. Yeah. But there's money and time and th things involved. You probably send a lot of market. emails. <laughs> Might be the, oh, yeah, it's Boomer. Investment, it's investment. Classic Boomer It's investment move. properties. Yeah, oh, my God. Is. You're yeah. absolutely That's right. right. <laughs> Oh In addition God. to all these trap building, he's also emailing all his tenants. He's like, um, you can't put paintings up. No, sorry, no. <laughs> no, we can't. No, we, we can't rehab us to the living room. No, it's no, no, too absolutely much. Not, yeah. We will raise your rent. Oh, by the way, you have to leave by the end of the week because I'm, I'm, I'm negative gearing. And by negative gearing, I'm turning this place into a sore trap room. Uh, so, and then I'm going to let my son live in it. So, yeah, absolutely. Oh, the worst. You know what I also enjoyed? Uh, mm. that, uh, another thing that I enjoyed mm. is that uh, it turns out... Uh, fun flashback, uh, Jigsaw has a uh, wife. Yeah. An age-appropriate wife. Wow. Seems in the form of Betsy Russell, although probably like 20 years difference. Wow, that's Hollywood. how it works, isn't it's it? Hollywood, you isn't know it? what I mean? And yeah. I don't, again, I haven't seen the next one, yeah. so it is very possible that one of the reasons he is a rampaging saw maniac mm. is because his wife was killed in an accident or whatever, but I'm willing to bet it's because he's insufferable. I was going to say, I bet he just put her through a number of psychological tests, maybe not physical, but he's constantly like... Hey, guess what? Uh, I'll put the peanut butter on the, on, on the back shelf, and if you love me, you'll uh, you'll reach up and you grab the peanut butter <laughs> exactly from the, from the top. You you stand on this rickety stool and you get me this jar of peanut butter. Um, okay, I've I've I've, I've installed uh, I've installed new air conditioning, and um and the test is you have to you have to here's how it's operating. She's like, I know how air conditioning works, and he's like, No, 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 y'all. Let me show show you how it works. Okay, there's an on button. You push the off. She's like, I know how air conditioning. <laughs> I'm works. I'm 20 years younger than you. I know. <laughs> You ever do that? Your parents are like, hey, can you look after my house, uh, our house while we, we go on holiday? Yeah, and they're yeah. like, we'll show you how the door works. And yeah. I'm like, I know how a door works. And they're like, no, no, how this, you put the key this, in. This you, particular door. You put the key in and you turn that key. I know how a door works. No, but this one, there's a, there's a little trick to it. Oh, yeah. Is it, you turn the, you turn yeah, the key. Yeah, but it's like, but you gotta, sometimes it might not turn immediately. So then you gotta, you gotta keep, you gotta keep turning God, it. God, I wish I was in a saw trap right now. <laughs> In a way, you are. Yeah. What a movie, though. Mm. And in a way, I've got some sore trivia to go to. Oh, go in a way, you have some sore trivia. In a way, yeah, because people de demand it. Now, we nearly did this as well as Saw 4 at the same time, because mm -hmm. those movies do run parallel. Ah. But if we come back to these movies, which we very well will. What we'll, we'll do is we'll get this video, yep. and we'll just overlay it on the top of the next video, <gasps> so they're running simultaneously. Oh, perfect. And that way we can just garble our way through the fourth one. We don't have to watch it, honestly. I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't really want to. I think it's going to be a bit strange, though, because if we do come back to this, it could be a year or multiple years. And we we're will have be, forgotten. We'll be like, what? what? Who's what now? Donnie, what? Donald Warburg. <laughs> what happened to his foot? Just a wet sack of bones. <laughs> Does he have to wear a hairnet over that when he works at Wahlburgers? <laughs> <laughs> if indeed that is his job? Sometimes it is. All right. The other thing is they borrowed a, one of the bathroom sets from this from Scary Movie 4. Huh. Why not? Why not? That's cool. Makes sense. And of course, uh, have you heard the story about Sorkon? No, oh, tell me about Sorkon. I feel bad doing this. Oh, no. Sorkon, these nuts! <laughs> That's it. That was it. That's There's great no stuff. Sorkon. That's, we, we're I'm definitely sorry. cutting this out. I was wow. hoping you would see that coming before I did it because I didn't want to do it. I don't get it. <laughs> I don't. I don't get it. Is this one of those 2006 things? <laughs> it's, a, it's, a real, it's a real boomer move of you not to get it, though, if you don't mind <laughs> me saying so. Anyways, this has been Saw 4. Three? Yep. <laughs> And uh, we hope, look, people want us to come back to these, but yeah. we, you know, we need to know. Do you know what I mean? Do you want us to do these? Big Saw fans, did we do these justice? Yeah. Would you like to see more or less? Because we can delete these videos. That's fine with me also. It's one of those things also where I know people have said, well, you did all 17 Transformers movies. Why don't you just push through? No. <laughs> and by the time we do, Spiral would have passed. Nobody's watching this. People will be like, do a different thing. We'll just keep moving on. You know okay, what I mean? Okay, cool, great. But if you do want to hint about next week, here it is. And the other thing is, if you have a suggestion for anything you want us to look at, please let us know below. And we have a service called BigSandwich.co where early videos go up, including these ones, bonus movie commentaries, bonus podcasts, an early edition of our podcast, The Weekly Planet, if you do want to check it out. Thank you for playing this game with us. In a way, we've all been in a, a saunario together. You better believe it. Now I need a sauna, just to... Oh, that's good. That's good. Sauna, S-A-W-N-A. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. 
it huh. sort of works in a way. It's steam, but the steam is acid or something. Steam is acid or yeah, something. Yeah. I'd yeah. prefer a regular one, but it would probably end up being acid. Yeah. You got in a sauna, you like saunas too much. Now the sauna is acid. Oh. <laughs> Why? You wanted to relax, but you can't relax in this world. That's your mistake. Is it? Is it my mistake? You're not working hard enough. You're not in the property market. So now you must, you must right. die. I hate you because I hate him. There was a bit of empathy. And now it's just like, boo, the worst. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go. All right, grab that gem, you guys. We'll see you next week. Yeah, nice. Grab that gem, these nuts. <laughs> nice. You got everyone. I figured it out. I figured it out. <laughs>